So hello and welcome. It's uh, great to be here and I'd like to discuss with you this topic. So why Joomla? Why should we be using Joomla uh, compared to all the alternatives that are out there? Because for many people who are inside the project, uh, the answer to that question is pretty obvious because it's just the way it always uh, things were. Meaning that we've been always using Joomla, so we just continue to use it. But for people who are about to choose what CMS system they are going to build, they are going to use, this is a pretty valid question. Like, why should they choose Joomla over different solutions that are available? So for the next 45 minutes, uh, I would like to go deeper into that question and show you a couple of reasons uh, why Joomla should be the choice for different segments uh, of the ecosystem. First of all, when we think why Joomla, that's usually the first thing that comes to our mind, WordPress. I even think that we have a small WordPress obsession within Joomla community, and we keep comparing ourselves to WordPress. We keep thinking of uh, WordPress as like an older brother that we try to live up to. And I think that that's actually a completely wrong attitude because WordPress isn't the main Joomla alternative right now. It's not WordPress uh, which is the alternative. The, the alternatives nowadays are here. Those are Facebook pages. Those are pages built with Wix, pages built with Wibbly with Squarespace and all of the other SaaS platforms that are make it possible for people to build websites in a very short time uh, and then who take responsibility for website management once the website is online. So if you think of an alternative to Joomla nowadays, don't think WordPress, think those guys. And that's, if you look at it from this perspective, that gives you a way different image of what are the issues, what are the challenges that we need to face in order to answer those questions. And we need to tackle the question why Joomla from a very different angle to say like why you should have a website on Joomla instead of putting your restaurant on, the on Facebook just as a fan page. Why should I build my blog on Joomla instead of building it with Weebly? That's uh, the questions we're, we need to answer here. But there is one main reason why people choose all those solutions over uh, traditional CMS systems. It's just the thing that once you put it online, the responsibility for website management goes to the other side. Meaning it's Weebly, it's Wix, it's Squarespace, it's Facebook who take responsibility to make sure that the, your fan page on Facebook will be compatible with the new version of browser, with the new iPhone 10 that has been released recently. It's them who need to think about that. And with the website that is built on Joomla, nobody can guarantee that right now. So that puts the, that's, that gives those platforms a strong argue, that gives those platforms a strong argument why people should be using them instead of Joomla. But it's not that we don't have any reasons why we should ask people to actually go to uh, Joomla and why it's good for them to build websites with Joomla. But if we are thinking of why Joomla, there is a very important question, who is asking that question? Because the Joomla ecosystem is quite huge and there, and there is a lot of different people there. So, if you think of that, you'll find some website owners in the ecosystem, you will find some extension developers, you will find some web hosting companies, some newcomers and old timers, people who create websites, people who build themes. Like there's a lot of different people uh, within the ecosystem and the answer to the why Joomla question will be different from the perspective of those different people. Uh, so let's go right through it and let's discuss the answer to why Joomla question from perspective of those groups. Okay, let's start 
with website owners. Why person that wants to have a website should build it on Joomla? So there are three things that you can see over here. First of all, it's prestige, uniqueness as a second thing, and the sense of ownership. So the first of two are, the first two I think are pretty clear. It's just the thing that no matter how much Wix, Weebly, and Facebook are trying to make the experience unique, it's still pretty generic. Like if you, as a website owner, want to have an, a unique website, the website that will be really made tailored to your needs, you can't have that with any of those platforms. You need to go with Joomla, create or highly customize template, craft the solutions using either the extensions or build some of your own, uh, to, to get this unique experience that you want to have as a website owner. And that has been the most successful pitch I've been doing when I was running my agency to my customers, my potential customers, who had to choose between building the website uh, using those SaaS platforms and using Joomla. The third one, ownership. Uh, that's actually a thing that not that many people think about. Uh, but you don't really own the content that uh, is put into all those SaaS platforms. So think of all this money uh, companies invest to drive traffic to their Facebook fan pages with no guarantee that the Facebook won't change their policy at one point um, and, will change the, uh, and will cut them off or at least make it way more uh, costly to actually uh, take advantage of the page they have. So if somebody is concerned about the ownership of their data, the ownership of their things that are online, uh, that's again a pretty strong argument to go with Joomla, not with Wix, Weebly, or Squarespace. Moving on, people who build websites. Uh, that's a different question. But again, if you, like the perspective of those people is different. So, the main reason why you should be using Joomla, if you are a website creator, is that it gives you flexibility. It's easy to extend Joomla. There is over 8,000 different extensions out there, uh, and I think that at least double the, that number in number of templates available. So it's pretty easy to craft the website that you really want to or your customer needs. On top of that, because if you are using Joomla continuously with different projects, your, your efficiency increases. You're a, you are able to build the website in a time that is comparable with clicking, uh, with, you know, click through the website and the website builder uh, and Wix, uh, Weebly or Squarespace. On the top of it, we have more and more tools that are actually unable, able, unable us to build websites using website builders in Joomla. So to combine the flexibility of Joomla with the easiness of those SaaS platforms. So that's, those for me are the main reasons why people who build websites for others should be using Joomla. Then uh, extension and team developers. So I think the main point is that uh, Joomla is not competitive. Joomla is not trying to uh, cut you off the market, which you can't say about the other players out there, because uh, WordPress has a long history of actually including in core the most successful extensions. And you can uh, imagine how, how this changed the life of an extension developer. Imagine you have a successful plugin. Uh, you make a lot of money on that. A lot of people are using it. And at some point, WordPress says that mm, maybe you should include that in core. In Joomla, we never do things like this. Even w when we introduce features that could be potentially competitive, we're always in touch with extension developers who are building things like this to make sure they don't feel threatened by it. A couple months ago, we have released uh, the custom fields. Uh, so the version that came with custom fields. So it, was, it became possible for people to actually easier uh, to work to add those fields easier to the article layouts. So a lot of people were thinking that the people who have CCK extensions like Sobi Pro, Seblot, Zoo, K2, or 
uh, any others, that they will feel threatened by it, that we will take customers from them. So what we've done, we've been in touch with them. All the time we've been talking to them to make sure that what we do as Joomla Core is not consider anything that is dangerous for them and for their business. Because we see that it's pretty important to grow the Joomla ecosystem and to support all people around, around it. So why an extension developer should build, web, uh, should build extensions for Joomla, not for any other platform? Because we'll take care of you and we'll make sure that you're successful. Because we care about that. Web hosting companies. That's actually, uh, I think, the strongest case nowadays. Because I don't know if you've heard um, that recently WordPress has become, WordPress itself, so the wor owner of WordPress Automatic, has launched their own hosting company by enabling in to install every plugin and every theme on WordPress.com. So in fact, all of the hosting companies that has been promoting WordPress throughout the years now are in a pretty different, difficult position because WordPress decide to start eroding their market and take their customers from the hosting companies to WordPress.com. And that's, again, a thing that will never happen in Joomla. We work very closely with our hosting partners to make sure that uh, we support their growth and not, uh, you know, not harm their business by becoming their direct competitors. So for web hosting companies that are Joomla-centric, that's the reason to stay with Joomla or actually increase their share of Joomla because you know you're safe with us. Then the newcomers. Sorry, Kevin John. Uh, <laughs> actually, when you think of that uh, a little bit deeper, working with Joomla is a great learning experience. We may have broken backward compatibility once or twice in the past, and I'm looking at you, George. Uh, but uh, still, if you look at Joomla code now, it's actually a great way to learn how to write good code in PHP or JavaScript. So if you are just starting your journey as a website developer and you still learn how to code, working with Joomla is actually the best way to learn how to code, to see what are the good practices. And you can't get that working with Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace. Obviously, as their code base is not available, um, and as I'm kind, I won't comment on the code quality of WordPress itself. Mm. So if you are uh, a newcomer, working with Joomla will help you to uh, become a better developer. Then if you are an old timer, if you've been with Joomla for a very, very long time, obviously there is efficiency in play. Like, I think that most, of people, most people who have been with Joomla for a long time are able to build websites in Joomla faster than people are able to create websites using Wix Website Builder. Uh, and because Joomla is so flexible and because it is possible to build so, so many different types of websites with Joomla, <coughs> starting with simple websites, going through portals, e-commerce websites, uh, you know, ending up some very custom implementations. You just get to know their Joomla's possibilities pretty well. And that is why it's so easy to build your website number 10, 11, 100, 200, 500 in the, uh, on the flow. So if you are already involved in Joomla, uh, staying with Joomla is just a matter of bringing you pretty quickly to finish line and the quicker you finish the projects, the more projects you may do, and the more websites you may build, you can build, the more money you can make, obviously. So as you may see, there, is, there are different angles, and there are different answers to uh, those questions depending on who's asking. But no matter if you are a newcomer or an old timer, no matter you are a website owner, no matter you are a website creator, a Joomla centric hosting company or a theme or extension developer, uh, there is one additional thing that may be useful for you and one more additional answer to the why Joomla question. 
So if you decide to build websites with Joomla, you could also easily get involved in the Joomla community. And what is the reason why this is interesting? Because if you look at uh, most people who build websites with Joomla, that's mostly a one-person companies. Those are freelancers. There's only a couple of, uh, there's only a couple bigger companies in the ecosystem. So working within a community is actually a great way to increase your people skills, to become better in communication, to learn how to code the project when you are not the only coder out there, where there are other developers and you need to learn how to interact with them, when you need to actually discuss your uh, development strategy with other people. So you are able to learn a lot thanks to Joomla community and those skills, you de then you can take it back uh, to your personal life, to your business life. So why Joomla is not only a software question, it's also this additional space where you can get involved in the community and learn even more. So from this point, uh, I would like to invite all of you who are not involved yet in the Joomla community to think of that. I hope with the thoughts I've shared, it'll be easier for you to communicate to your customers why you should build your next website with Joomla, not with any other technology. Uh, but I also would like to see more of you within the Joomla community, because I do believe it is a great learning experience, and it has been a great learning experience for myself. I've learned a lot uh, thanks, to, uh, thanks to being here and being able to work with, uh, with so many of you. Uh, speaking of myself, my name is Aleksander Kuczek. I'm from Poland. I'm the VP of Joomla and CEO of Perfect Dashboard. Those are the contact details if you want to uh, reach out to me. Thank you. Okay, are there any questions? I know. Well, actually, I've done a similar presentation at WordCamp Miami a couple months ago. Okay, if there are no questions, then thank you once again, and have a great conference.